Um, and one thing that I do to manage my work and uh, life balance is turning off emails at the end of the day, um, making sure on the weekends that I spend time with friends and family and uh, make an, an active uh, time to take away from the office so that I uh, do spend some time with, with friends, family, and uh, others uh, away from, from work. Um, my work-life balance has been a work in progress uh, over the years, for sure. Um, I do my very best to get things done here at work um, and to be very proactive with how I do things so that whenever I come home from work at the end of the day, I can relax, I can spend time with my two children and my husband, and I can uh, feel that I've accomplished something for the day and that I can uh, just take a break for myself. I think. In terms of um, managing work-life balance, I think what works for me is to get all my work as much as possible taken care of um, at the workplace before I leave for the day. Uh, that creates a nice separation between work and life outside of work. Um, I think managing that balance is also about taking care of ourselves and uh, some things that I try to work on are getting good sleep. Um, I do like to do yoga when I can and make time for things that I enjoy. It's in life. Work, I come in daily, Monday through Friday. Work is my job, which I love to come in and do. After work is my time, which that's my lifetime, which I enjoy things for is traveling, shopping, going out to eat, movies, parks, things as that. But I'm also entailed to my job when I'm off work, but the balance has been great. Life-work balance is um, definitely a challenge for any uh, professional and in this office I feel that we do have the ability to have um, flexibility which is very important. Um, I also um, have a staff that like Tony and, and Jeannie that helps me a lot with things that are not clinical so there's a lot of things that they can do for me which is good for the patients because it speeds things up for them but it's also good for me because then I can really just focus on the clinical piece do my work at the office and then go home and spend time with my family um, also you know because of our schedule and hours I don't have to do overnight work I don't have to do calls so I can spend more time with, with my family and I'm also not tired when I have to come here in the morning and see my patients in terms of managing work and uh, life balance I am probably not the best in some ways, although I try. Uh, I try to avoid burnout, but it seems to creep up pretty often recently. But I do try to do what I can. Um, for me, it's probably trying to get good sleep, which is often a challenge, as it is for all of us. Uh, doing things I enjoy, uh, including spending time with friends and family and running. Trying to practice some mindfulness, which I hope all my patients are as well. Um, so I try to do my best, but life has a tendency to catch up. So the question on how to manage work-life balance, that's always a tricky one. I think when I first started thinking about that, I had this idea that I could do everything and I could just make it all work. And if I just were organized and my time was managed, that I could do everything. And I think as I've gotten older, I realized that I can't do everything all the time. But there are some things I can do regularly, and there are other things that I do um, sometimes and not others. So, for example, the one thing I'm pretty committed to doing regularly is exercise, um, but I know that I can't really do it for long stretches of time. So I try to be committed to getting up early and doing about 30 minutes every day, and that's okay. If I miss a day, that's okay. If I have days where I can do more, that's okay. But I try to be really committed to that because I know that it's made a big difference for me in my health, in my psychological well-being, and my mental health.